Honey Heart C. Well, hello, mini fans. I am so happy you are here with me today. We are gonna be doing another one of these horse crazy surprise painting kit blind bags. All right, I love these. I think these are so cool. So basically, if you have never seen these before, these are like a little painting kit. There is a surprise model horse on the inside. It could be any one of these four models and it's completely blank and ready to be painted with these little paints that come in this kit. So we have everything we need to paint our horse. Let's find out which one it is right now. So we'll open it, open it, open it. And it looks like, okay, we've got our little instruction sheet and we've got, oh, awesome. Okay, so we've got this running Mustang. Cool, perfect, perfect, perfect. So he's completely primed and ready to be painted. On the inside, we've got our little paint pot. We've got three colors, white, black, and brown. And it comes with a little paintbrush. Whoop, kind of soften up the paintbrush here because it's a little stiff. There we go, whoop. And on the inside, let me see. Just gives you some tips about how to paint some of these horses here. Oh, they're so pretty, they're so pretty. So I love doing these painting kits. I've already painted these two from the surprise kit. So if you'd like to see how I did this red Appaloosa or this beautiful Pinto, you can check out those videos. So since I already have an Appaloosa and a Pinto, let's possibly, let's paint this horse bay and let's do a bay color horse. I'm gonna protect my work surface. Whoop. All right, so I'm gonna open up the brown in here. Oop, it's a little bit watery on the top. So I'm going to just mix it up. Boop, boop, boop. Mix all those paint oils together. And I'm just gonna paint out just so I can kind of see the true color. Okay, get a little bit of some water. All right, for our bay, I'm gonna open up the black too. I hope I don't spill paint all over the place. Ah, they're kind of hard to open. Okay, I painted on myself. Ah! Wait, it's gonna tip over. I'm gonna take a tiny dip of black and mix it into some brown here to kinda give the color a little bit of some dimension. Boop, 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 boop. All right, let's start painting this guy. So I'm going to paint on the first coat on him. Oh, he's like halfway painted. Whoop, paint this side. What if I just did a bunch of polka dots? Just kidding. Actually, he'd be super duper pretty as an Appaloosa. Paint that little face. Okay, his first coat is all dry. And you know what, you guys? I'm really loving this color on him. Okay, so I'm gonna paint another coat. A little bit of brown mixed with just a little touch of black. And paint. There we go. Now his color is going on super duper rich. There we go. Oh, I am so in love with this color. Okay, now I'm gonna take some brown and I am really going to wet it down with my brush. And I'm just kind of gonna do like a little color wash over him, but I gotta make sure it's super duper wet with my water. So I mostly want water on my brush to kind of wash his color out a little bit here. Kind of lighten him up. Okay, he's been drying. Oh, I am still super duper in love with this color. I just think it's so pretty. So I'm just gonna keep kind of lightening it up a little bit. Ah! So really wet down my brush in just certain areas to kind of just kind of give a little bit of a little color highlight here. Now I'm going to add in, oh my goodness, this horse is just so cute. A little bit of some lighter highlighted areas. So I'm just taking just some of the regular brown, just kind of putting it on a little horse here. Oh, I still, oh my gosh. I know I've been saying it like crazy. He's so, so, so pretty, that collar. You know what? I'm probably totally gonna keep him this color. I think this color is just absolutely amazing on him. Let's open up our white. And I am going to paint his mane white and his tail. Oh my goodness, oh, so pretty. And cannot forget about his little forelock right here, blowing right behind his ear. Perfect. Now while I'm waiting for his mane and tail to dry, let's give him some really beautiful stockings. So I'm going to take some of my white, water it down with some water and paint it on his leg exactly where I want his marking to be. There we go, so it looks super duper milky on him like this. Don't forget to do the other side. I'm doing on all his legs here. And a very milky blaze on his face. There we go. 
dough just like that. Let it dry. All right, so let's add some more little details in. I'm gonna take a little bit of some brown, just a tiny bit here, and some white. Mix it together to create a peach color. There we go, should be good. I'm gonna wet my brush down, create it super light, dab it on a paper towel, add a little bit of some pinking on his muzzle. By keeping my paintbrush super duper wet, I'm gonna get both sides all the way around. Wiping it on a paper towel as I go. Just to add a little bit of some pinking, kind of a tanning. Since it's not exactly pink, I don't have any pink in this set. All right, there we go. So now I have a little bit of some light on his muzzle there. I'm gonna take some white on my paintbrush and now color in his blaze that he has. Do, 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 do. There we go. Now we're just gonna paint in his little leg markings. Don't forget to paint the inside. Okay, so now we are going to add in some shading to his tail because it's so super duper white. And I just want to give it a little bit of some shading. So I'm going to take my brown. I'm going to take my water, just a little bit of white, and mix it in there like that. And I'm going to use lots and lots and lots of water on this and dip it on my thing on my paper towel, boop, boop, boop. And now at the very tips here, I'm kind of going to just paint on a little bit of some brown here on the bottom, keeping my brush still nice and light, wiping away any chunks of too much brown. Do, do, do. Just kind of give it a little bit of some coloring. There we go, kind of fades it in there. Don't let any of this paint settle too deep in there. Oh, that looks perfect. And I'm gonna do the same thing to his mane. So just right on the tip, in a little bit of coloring, nice and light, so not too much. So cute. And a little bit on his little tiny feathers that he has right here on the bottom next to his hooves. Can get a little coloring too. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of some white and a touch of brown. I'm gonna mix it together. We're gonna create like a really peachy color for his hooves. We're gonna paint each one of his hooves now, this peachy color. Don't forget the bottom. He needs an eye. All right, so I'm gonna take the black paint. I'm gonna take the end of my paintbrush and I'm going to dip it very lightly into the black like that. So there's a little dot of black. I'm going to carefully, oh so very carefully, just touch it with my brush. You don't wanna to touch too much because the brush is big on the bottom. And that's what gives him his eye. All right, let's check him out. Come on out. Woo, woo, oh yes. He looks absolutely amazing. Okay, I am so, so happy I stuck with this color. Cause like I said, you guys know I wanted to paint him a bay coloring, but I think he looks super duper cool with this rich, rich, rich brown. These really high little stockings. His adorable little face with his little blaze. Oh, the highlighting on his mane too turned out really nice. And on his tail. These painting kits seriously are so much fun. <laughs> Oh, he is a wild, wild, wild horse. There he goes. Woo! And he's back. Okay, so yay. I hope you mini fans enjoyed this video of painting this awesome custom horse. Run on over to my next video. I will see you there. Bye, minis. Woohoo! Loving these drawings. Thank you so much. Woo -woo. that this little cupcake was on top of one of these horses? What, come on. Did you see which one it was? It was there just for a second. Was it on our little spotted Appaloosa, the Pinto, or this little Mustang? Put your answer below in the comments, bye minis.